I'm going to have content for days and days. I'm just sitting here. I've recorded a few videos and I was about to get off of YouTube and then more stuff keeps popping up. It's like crazy. Uh, the, the rabbit hole that you go down and, and then you just find the craziest stories online. That's the second floor. <laughs> I mean, he's it. And I'm like, hey, I might as well. It's only a two minute, three minute video, so I might as well react to it. Hmm. When an employee he said the groom became handsy and he touched her several times along the side of her torso and upper hip area. Ooh. And she claimed he tried to pour alcohol down her throat, despite the fact she told him she was pregnant. My name is Damon with Complete. I appreciate you rocking with me one more time. Today, I am reacting to this video where three are arrested at a wedding after the groom allegedly hits on a pregnant reception worker and gets into a fight. I gotta say that one more time just to make sure that sinks in. Three arrested at wedding after the groom allegedly hits on a pregnant reception worker. So somebody who's working at the reception hall and then gets into a fight in, I guess, in Pittsburgh or in Pennsylvania, because it's from Pittsburgh, CBS local dot com. And we're going to rock with this right now. I've done quite a few of these videos and I put this little, I created this little TV screen on some trust and uh, over here on the right. If, if you're feeling that if you like the way I have to set up, then let me know if you don't like it, then let me know if you would rather see something like this then let me know, or if you wanna just see the video itself. But I spent a lot of time creating this in Photoshop and saving it to a PNG and then adding it to OBS. So I am gonna keep on doing this until you tell me that it's garbage and then we'll do something different. <laughs> But also want to say that this is just a webcam. Uh, we do have professional videography cameras and equipment, but I do so many of these videos and I have a really small office and I don't want to have a, a bunch of camera equipment. I'm doing this all the time and I don't want to keep setting it up and breaking it down and doing all that. This is how we have it set up with the webcam. But if you check out the wedding videos, you're going to see the quality is way better. This is just me chilling in the office, watching some videos. I'll be watching them anyway. So throw a webcam and a mic and let's go ahead and power through it. So now let's check out the three arrested at a wedding after groom allegedly hits on a pregnant reception worker. Yeah, with friends and family gathered for a wedding Ooh, and it ended with know. three people, including a state trooper. She did not look happy. Yeah, Let's see if we get friend. this. She looks mad. What's wrong with you, bro? What the heck? You tripping, bro? You tripping? And family gathered for a wedding, and it ended with three people, Dang, including oh boy, a state bloody? trooper and a local school board member behind bars. Good evening, everybody. I'm Susan Copen. So Tonight, the everybody's three men arrested are out, out of jail, and we're learning more about the bizarre events. Ralph Iannotti is live with the very latest new at 11. Ralph. Hello, Susan. Without a doubt, certainly an embarrassing wedding day for this you couple think? with the groom, his brother, and another man forced to spend the night Show the here pictures. in the Allegheny County Show Jail. Show the pictures. Mugshots. Come on, hit me with the mugshots. Everything to say? Not at this time. Thank you. I wonder if that's the bride. She still looks unhappy, but how come we don't get mugshots? Usually you get mugshots. I was waiting for that. I wanted to see the, the mugshots. Everything to say? Not at this time. Thank you. A day after 35-year-old Mark Williams and his new bride walked down the aisle, the hmm, couple walked out, out of court municipal room. court. <laughs> Williams facing charges, including riot, resisting arrest, and riot. aggravated assault. Wow. Williams explained he was advised not to say anything at this time. And you know who advised him? Hopefully everybody say nothing. Keep it quiet. Talk with the lawyer present and in court. That's it. What did, what did the academy hire you right out of the womb? You guys get younger every... What'd you say to Babyface, huh? Facing similar charges following the late Sunday night brawl was the groom's brother, State Trooper David Williams. He was a state trooper? here in handcuffs after he was taken into custody by mm. Pittsburgh police. A third man arrested in Dang. the brawl, 34-year-old Brian Taylor of McKee's Rocks. How come he's the only one bloody? The Rock school board. He apparently punched out a car window and screamed at oh, police. He was why. HIV positive as he was being taken away. He had little to say tonight as he was released from custody. Yeah, I'd appreciate it if you'd please move away from me, though. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to walk and react to what happened. 
Any reaction at all? With a new bride left standing on the street, her new husband and two other men were taken away. The fight unfolded as the Williams wedding party was underway on the Gateway Clipper when an employee said the groom became handsy and he touched her several times along the side of her torso and upper hip area. And she claimed he tried to pour alcohol down her throat despite the fact she told him she was pregnant. Bro, come on, man. (laughs) So I just did a video from Joy Michelle Photography where she talks about the craziest things that happen at weddings that she's heard of or she's been involved with. And this one, I would assume would rank up there. Uh, What do you think, Joy? Do you think that this would be one of those that you would make another video about? You are not alone. I mean, truly, I'm raising my hand. It says the the groom became handsy. He touched this person that worked at the reception several times along the side of her torso and her hip, upper hip area. Then he tried to pour alcohol down her throat despite the fact she advised him that she was pregnant. Well, how are you behind the bar, dude? Like, are you behind the bar? Are you like reaching over the bar trying to pour alcohol down her throat? And like, I don't know, that's that's interesting, but dude, you just got married. Like, it's day two. <laughs> the woman called her boyfriend, he arrived, and that started the violent encounter involving the Williams brothers and Taylor. I've never been in a situation like that. I've never been, I wouldn't say I've never been handsy, but I'll just say I've never been in a situation like that. So I don't know how I would react, but to me, it seems like it would be wise. I'm not in a situation. I'm not a a female, so I don't know how to respond, I guess. But I would say, why not tell your supervisor or the manager of the hotel or the the manager of the venue where you're, where you are, instead of calling your boyfriend, which you know, if boyfriend comes up there, then it's going to be some. So that's just my thoughts is yeah. Boyfriend coming up there definitely is a reason why everything happened the way it happened. Maybe, well, not maybe groom should have never allegedly done any of that stuff for sure. 100%, 100% dude, that's, that's garbage that you did that calling boyfriend is probably not the best if you're at the, even at the club like get the bouncer like don't like remove that person even if it's the groom hey hey man you gotta go you can't be here because you're touching on people so you can't do that but boyfriend comes up boyfriend's going to put hands on him that's what happened and next thing you know it's a brawl she uh, is normally picked up by her boyfriend at the end of her shift and uh, this morning she told him that there was a man on the boat who was being a bit too friendly with on her. the boat boyfriend, of course, approached the man who ended up being the groom in this bridal party. You know, a fight came about after that initial confrontation. Now, that police report uh, says that when uh, Taylor was arrested, he repeatedly yelled that he was HIV positive and started swinging his arms about trying to resist arrest. But tonight, as he was released from custody, he denied ever saying that. We're live tonight downtown. I'm Ralph Ainati, KDKA TV News. So that's an interesting little story there. I don't, uh, it's just for news, I don't know what that implies. I'm HIV positive and I cut my hand and so I'm going to wave it around. Like, I, don't, I don't know what that Im- implies. I'm trying to infect you or stay away from me so you don't get infected. I'm not exactly sure what that part is. I'm not, I don't know, but who knows why drunk people do what they do. So that... That's a crazy story. Uh, I've, I've said my piece about calling the boyfriend probably wasn't the best thing to do. But if you got somebody who's touching on you, you need to stop them, right? So whatever you got to do to stop them, you got to stop them. If it means calling boyfriend and boyfriend comes up and put hands, then then no boy knows not to do that again. Uh, but also understand that boyfriend comes up, puts puts hands, then boyfriend's going to jail. And also whoever else is involved with that brawl will be in handcuffs too. So that brings up one of our uh, crazy stories. I guess it's crazy story time on my end. Weddings are typically a lot of happiness and things go off without a hitch. And sometimes minor things happen and sometimes major things happen. And when major things happen and things go crazy, then they go south really, really quickly. We had a wedding where I'm going to not mention anybody's name at all, but we had a wedding and everything was going great. The bride and groom were having a a 
good old time during the reception. And then all of a sudden, one of the guests decides that they were not happy with a woman looking at her date at the wedding reception confronts her. And I'm assuming there was alcohol involved. Allegedly, possibly, I'm not sure, but I'm assuming there was alcohol involved and it was probably to excess. <laughs> and when the woman approached the other woman who was just looking, I mean, granted, it was not the best look of, from what my understanding is. It was more of the hmm, look at this up and down kind of thing and confronted her. And they went to blows. They actually started like fighting during the wedding reception. <laughs> like really, really, really fighting. They, the cops were called, the police were called and the police made our DJ stop playing music for the reception so that they can take statements and write their police report. And there are a lot of things that can bring down the energy of a wedding, <laughs> but having the police turn on all the lights and shut off all the music and have everyone sit down and go person to person and get a statement from everybody at the wedding reception tends to be a buzzkill and building momentum after something like that and building that energy back up and getting people to party, getting people to stay in the room after a situation like that is what they call damn near impossible. And that's basically the situation that our DJ was in. Here is, by the way, DJ had to fill out a police report. Our photographer had to fill out a police report and our videographer had to fill out a piece of police report. And I had to figure out how to say police report multiple times. And so after all of this, there was still about an hour left in the wedding reception and there were still people there that wanted to party. So guess what? We turned up. <laughs> we turned it up. But the people that were there, it was still drunk and or drinking. <laughs> and so we turned up for another hour and did our thing. And um, the lady went to jail, by the way. The lady actually, I'm sorry, the ladies, because it was a brawl. I'm sorry. It was a, it was a fight. So both of the ladies ended up going to jail. The one thing that I don't know, and I'm kind of afraid to ask our client is if the guy is still dating the lady, Bruh. the whole reason for that altercation. I'm curious about that, but that's just going to have to be one of those unanswered questions. So I just did a reaction to the groom allegedly getting handsy and try to hit on and rub on. And we don't know, but that's just my reaction to that. My name is Damon with Complete. Thanks for rocking with me one more time. And I will see you on the next one.